Most people are aware that the amino acid lysine can help with the prevention of cold sores, but what else can it do? Well, some research suggests that lysine may help you get stronger. Here we see an eight-week investigation where 40 young guys in their 20s, both well-nourished and undernourished individuals, were put on a low lysine or high lysine diet. The results showed that in both groups, supplementation with lysine amino acids promoted about a 7.5% increase in muscle strength, although it did not improve muscle size. So if you're looking to maybe just get stronger, perhaps lysine may be something to take a look at. This investigation is really interesting, and if you're wondering how much lysine was used, well, it came to 80 milligrams per kilogram. In other words, the amount of lysine that was used was based on how much someone weighed. Here is an example I did for someone who weighed 170 pounds or 77 kilograms. In this example, that individual would be using 6 grams or 6,000 milligrams of lysine per day. Something else that lysine might help do is, well, maybe lower blood pressure. 180 men and women, about 30% of which also had high blood pressure, were given lysine or nothing for three months. The results showed that the average systolic blood pressure of those people with hypertension dropped from 146 down to 128, leading the researchers to conclude that Lysine supplements led to a reduction in blood pressure in people who had hypertension, who also consumed a low lysine diet. More about that in a minute. Oh, and if you're curious, the amount of lysine used in this investigation was 500 milligrams of lysine twice a day, which came to 1,000 milligrams of lysine each day. Something else that lysine perhaps might help is maybe schizophrenia. In this investigation, people with schizophrenia were given 6 grams, 6,000 milligrams, of lysine in addition to their normal medications. The results showed that lysine appeared to help improve some schizophrenia symptoms. And while encouraging, I would also point out that one possible drawback to this investigation, however, is that the benefits didn't significantly differ from that of the placebo group. Also, keep in mind that there's not much research on lysine and schizophrenia, so do talk to your physician for more up-to-date information on this topic. And lastly, maybe we should add lysine to the list of anti-stress nutrients. This is a three-month investigation of lysine fortification to food where researchers noted less anxiety and lower cortisol levels in women. Now, as for lysine in foods, Generally, plant foods like grains contain less lysine, and so that's something for vegans to consider. However, all hope is not lost, as you can boost your lysine intake by eating some of these foods, like tofu and soy, lentils, pumpkin seeds, beans, and even pistachios are good sources as well. So, lysine is an important amino acid that doesn't get the attention it deserves, and some people may not be getting enough of it. What do you think? Leave a comment below and let me know. Until next time, I'm Joe from SupplementClarity.com. Take care.